All right, everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, so I know I was gonna post a video this week, but I got this really awesome recipe for wine on Facebook, and I was like, I gotta find time to film this and upload it. So that's what we're doing today. It is a wine float. Yeah, you heard me correctly, a wine float. I will insert a photo here. This is where I found the lovely inspiration for this recipe. Uh, if you go to this website here above, I don't know if you can see the website link, but that's where I found it. Uh, it looks super cool, super delicious, and I had all the ingredients, so why as well make it? All right, so you need to start with a sweet wine, um, particularly a sweet red or a Pinot Noir would work best. So we're using Yellowtail Pinot Noir because I had that on hand. Uh, but you can certainly use any sweet blend of wine you want. And then you will need some seltzer of your choice. Um, doesn't matter what kind. So now we're going to go ahead and grab our wine glass. I'm going to use a smaller wine glass and make a small serving since, you know, I'm traveling. I don't want to have a lot of wine in my system while I'm traveling. So we're going to go with a light version of this, but well, let me move over here. So we're going to start with the wine. So we're going to do a little bit in here. Uh, all right, sure. So half a glass of wine, roughly ish sure and then we're gonna top it with some ice cream so I have Brigham's vanilla bean ice cream because vanilla bean really pairs well with uh, Pinot Noir uh, the website linked Pinot Noir as the first choice for wine for this and they said that vanilla bean goes really well with it and I had vanilla bean so I'm like what the heck if you are using a sweet red that has like black cherries or currants or blackberry you could certainly switch out the ice cream flavor for like a blackberry ice cream. Those do exist and they're quite delicious. So you could switch out your ice cream flavor to suit the palates of your wine. That's certainly an option there. But just for the sole purpose of the video, we're doing a vanilla bean. All right, well, let me go ahead and take some ice cream out of here. All right. Go a little bit in here. I know this sounds so bizarre, you guys. I When I read it, I'm like, ice cream and wine? Are they like trying to, like what are they thinking? But I guess this works. So we're gonna give it a whirl. I've never tried this, but we're gonna go ahead and try it for the first time on camera. All right, there's that. Let's put this back in the freezer. Okay, now we have to add the seltzer to give it a bit of zing. Um, don't use flavored seltzer. I'm just using plain old regular original seltzer, so. Go ahead. Um, it didn't say if you can use if you have club soda. I don't know if you can use that. It didn't say. So I'm gonna go with just seltzer. We're gonna top it off with a little bit of seltzer on the top. So you give it that frothiness we want. Awesome. Look at that, guys. Oh my god. Now I don't have a small straw. I only have a big straw. So we're gonna shove the big straw in there and give her a whirl. See how this goes. I mean. I mean, look at that, guys. It looks delicious, actually. I'm I'm actually going to see how this goes. Let's see. Okay. It's more wine than um, ice cream, but let's see. Let me skip the straw. Because like the straw doesn't really give me flavor. So let's go in with a... Specialty float spoon. I have these float spoons. I got them somewhere many years ago. So we're going to go ahead and use these. Let's see. Get a bit of the ice cream and the seltzer and the wine. Okay. All right. I see it. Okay. Um, so... About it it's just such an odd combination but it works so well that it's like I kind of like this like I'm, I'm intrigued um obviously I wouldn't use a spoon uh, uh, a straw with this despite the photo showing a straw I would rather have it like with a spoon and then just sip sip it well wow. it's I don't know I can't quite give it, I don't, I, maybe it's just this wine I used. I don't know. 
I taste a lot of the wine, so I may not do the right ratio. I don't know. I follow the recipe exactly how it said to do. It's an equal part salt to wine and ice cream, but I use a smaller glass, so maybe I pour too much wine. Not sure. It does taste very good, I will say. Like when you have the ice cream and the wine together, it is a very good flavor. Um, but definitely for this recipe, do not use a dry red. Do not use dry reds. It will not work, trust me. The website said dry reds are a no-no, so we stick with what we have. But yeah, this is actually really delicious. It's interesting. I would never have thought of this, but yeah. Wow. It's not bad. Um, yeah. Um, very interesting concept and idea. So yeah, this would be a fun summer treat for sure. Um, don't know if I'd make this all the time, but once in a great while, I might just out of the blue make it for sure. Yeah. I think I would love to try other wines that are sweet reds and make it. The website shows at the very top a few other recipes, including rosés and champagne. I'm eager to see how those look because they look really delicious too. So this is actually really cool. Um, I just, I'm not sure. Um, it's good, but it's so confusing because I'm so used to having root beer floats, like Coke floats or Fanta floats. I'm not a root beer fan, but Coke floats and, and Fanta orange floats are really my favorite thing. So for me having wine and ice cream together, I'm just like, woo. So I would give it about an 8 out of a 10 for a recipe wise. It's just a throw me off a little bit because of the whole wine and ice cream thing. But really good. I know chocolate wine sauce and ice cream are a thing, but I never thought about Pinot Noir and vanilla ice cream. But this is really cool. So guys, if you're into um, ice cream and wine, there you go. Mix together with some seltzer and you got yourself a recipe and a good drink. All right. Well, I will be away for two weeks, as I mentioned last week. I will try to maybe post some content. It may not be wine-related content. I can give you guys a little glimpse of what I'm doing, the adventure of mine maybe or something like that. Um, there is a wine bar on board the ship I'm going on, so maybe I can get a few uh, videos of that for you guys. Um, but that sums up my video for this week. Um, I will see you um, when I see you, two weeks from now maybe. And um, you guys have a wonderful April. And I'll be back as soon as I can on this channel. So enjoy yourselves, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment any suggestions or questions or feedback you have on this channel. I love all you guys. You guys are amazing. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.